So hi everyone, it's awesome to be back today. So thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, one more demo, one more movie theme. And today we have how to train your Copilot Studio Agent Dragon and particularly how to hack the client API in any monitor driven app or your Dynamics 365 app in order to have your agent um, work with you from the side pane. So a quick intro before we start. Um, my name is Angeliki Patsiavu. I am a BizOps MVP um, that lives in the UK, but I'm originally Greek Italian. And I'm also in a different uh, life. I was also a change manager, so ProSite certified as well. I'm a bit of a hybrid, so I'm already in my third career within CRM, but definitely love and bleed CRM in that way. So I'm currently in the functional architecture space, and I love all things Copilot Studio as well. But I also love the community. So opportunities like today or any other kind of events, um, as well as blogging, is definitely where my passion lies. So thank you once again for this opportunity. Just another example of how much the community means is um, internally at Avnet, where I work here in the UK, I lead the um, Copilot community for biz apps globally. So it's a massive opportunity to grow skills together, to build that community, and ultimately to support people um, worldwide. So it's it's very exciting. Uh, my blog is called departhumans.net. I will share some posts later today based on the demo. And also feel free to reach out on social media. So with that in mind, um, why are we even talking about this um, kind of topic? And you may wonder, you know, side pains, why are they so special? Well, to begin with, think of the context that they provide you. So when you're navigating your um, app, whether it's a motor driven app or a Dynamics app, um, you're working through a lot of records. So having that, maintaining that context whilst you're using your app, instead of thinking of embedding your agent within a specific tab, really supports you. So as you're going through your data, you're maintaining that seamless native experience and your agent becomes your omnipresent assistant. Now, with that in mind, it's about real estate as well. So if you think about um, your general navigation, you want to minimize the white space as well as minimizing the cognitive load that you might give from um, putting your agent within the real estate of a tab alone. So there's a lot of UI UX opportunities as well. Now, if you flip it on its head and, you know, you might wonder why, why what, what's wrong with just putting an iframe in a tab? Well, there's nothing wrong in principle, but we have to think about it situationally speaking. So think of yourself, for example, as a customer service representative for a moment. You're juggling multiple calls or multiple messages from different customers, and you're probably multitasking between different um, cases or different customer profiles at the same time. So it's not easy to be switching between tabs and working with your agent versus the customer's data all at the same time, especially because of the bulk of work you're faced with. Now, on this, at the same point, it might disrupt the way you're interacting with your app. So, you know, as your um, customer is talking, you're probably entering some data, whether it's a new case, whether it's logging in, in what will be our demo scenario, a new hotel booking. There's all sorts of things that you may be entering into the system, but if you're just, if your whole real estate is dominated by your agent, then you're going to disrupt the natural process that you're going through with the data entry. So there's a lot of reasons why you can optimize your real estate by um, having the side pane do that work for you. So let's have a look. What is the use case? I kind of give it away a little bit, but uh, we are going to look at the use case of a um, hotel agents, particularly supporting customer service representatives that are just swamped with calls or all sorts of uh, messages as well. So put yourself in their shoes for a moment. Uh, they are inundated with all sorts of cases and questions. Sometimes people are calling them to check in on whether the com their booking is confirmed. Sometimes they have a very odd question about this property that is very, very far away, and um, they've never heard about that specific facility being offered there before, or maybe they need to help with making new reservations. And remember, we're dealing with multiple requests at the same time, so we need an agent that can support us in that multitasking. At the same time, and speaking about multitasking, we need to still maintain it seamless. 
One of the things that we are looking at in the general customer service work is to provide that really good customer experience that can also reduce the workload for the representatives as well. And one of the metrics that really help us uh, monitor this is something called the first contact resolution rate. So how quickly can we solve their query or address their needs from that first point of contact? And um, looking at different ways to optimize the, the representatives tools and um, UI and UX they're working with can really help drive that as well. So what we're going to look at is um, a native capability. So we're going to look at using the client API to embed our agent within the side pane and really assist us like a mighty dragon. So I want to summarize the tools that we're going to use before we see it into the system, just to see what our toolkit looks like. So first off, we're going to work with a web resource that is purely just an HTML script to um, point to our agent. And this we're going to get very easily firsthand from Copilot Studio. Next up, we're going to have to use an icon for our agent. So similar to how you've already seen the site, for example, populated with the native Copilots, whether it's the Power Apps one, whether it's the Dynamics one, we have an icon, right? Um, so you definitely have to choose one of those. Now, I wanted to keep it simple, so I looked at the existing library, which you can see um, with some imagery to, to use a, an icon that has not been served yet through the side pane, but you can also add your own, um, so either or. And then we have a second web resource. Now, this is going to do the majority of the work. This is going to be a JavaScript one that is going to call the API and it's going to set all the parameters for us. And what do we mean by that? Of course, we're going to add the icon. We're going to give it a name because this is our agent. We can also work with the different behaviors that we can customize for the agent. So think, for example, from a positioning perspective, because we might be working with very specific devices for a customer service representative. So we want to make sure that this behavior aligns to what they have in, in place. And so the final tool that we're going to use, because where is this web resource is going, right? We are going to go within the main form of a particular record and an entity. In this case, we're going to go within the customer one and uh, use an unload event. So what behavior we're going to observe in practice is that when we launch a customer record, we are going to have an agent launching simultaneously through the side pane, and it will remain persistent as we navigate the app. And this is the um, behavior that I was explaining, where it can really help us as we navigate between records, between different tables, all places within the app. We are still able to converse with our agent. We don't have to worry about or going back and forth, adding data, or working through multiple cases, and so forth. Okay, so just to give you a screenshot of what we're going to see, um, essentially here we have an example of a customer record, and we're going to see this in real time, actually. Um, so we have uh, Mick Jagger, actually, that is calling us up. Yes, I know we have very famous clients in this hotel. And basically, uh, he's checking in on a reservation. He wants to make sure that everything is in order, um, of course, we could go and browse <laughs> the endless inventory that we have with the reservations, but wouldn't it be nice if we could just add very briefly um, the reservation number, nothing more than that, and then the agent just gives us in context, we will throw in a call and opened up the customer profile, a uh, full summary for it, so we don't even have to worry about finding it. We don't even have to worry about summarizing it in case the customer has any further questions. So it's this kind of context that can really help speed up the experience for the representative and ultimately get the customer where they need to faster. Okay, I think I've said enough. Let's have a bit of a magical demo, shall we? Now, I did promise you that our first tool is gonna be an HTML web resource. Now, of course, you could write it yourself, but why make our lives hard where we can actually go straight into the channel side of our Copilot Studio agent, which in this case is called Vista. And we are going to click through custom website as part of our channels. And it, in fact, gives you the HTML piece that we need. So, boom, that's done. We now will upload it into um, a web resource that we can use within the app. So it's super easy. So that's done. Now, the second thing that we need to do, and I did promise you, web resource-wise, 
is we're going to have a JavaScript one. And this essentially is calling the API and is creating the side pane presence for our agent. As part of it, we do need the icon, which if you see here, in fact, just to show you a little bit in context, the whole thing, I've taken a screenshot of Visual Studio just in case it misbehaved in real time. Um, and we can see a few different things here. I've even added you some notes about how every line behaves. And you will also see the same in the blog with a snippet to download for your own um, use and experiments. Now, a few things we can notice in the JavaScript code here, we're giving it a title. Um, the icon that I mentioned, which you can choose, um, whether you're uploading your own web resource or choosing an existing one that is not being used, is used in the second line here, so line six. Um, we can control some of the behaviors between um, line seven and nine. Um, and, and this is important, for example, the width, because depending on what devices your users are, um, preferring or being provided with, for example, let's say the, prim the, the primary uses is through tablets or through a massive screen, then you can adjust your UI accordingly. And thus, um, as you work through this, which as you can see is a very simple line, a very simple few lines, you upload it as your second web resource, and thus that is the extent of the library that you're using. Now, we did say we're going to upload this uh, as an event handler. So what we do is go into the main form. In this case, I want it within a customer record. And we're going to use an unload event because the behavior we want to drive is unload the customer uh, for the customer representative, the agent, the minute they open up a customer record and to continue their um, experience. So after we have uploaded the JavaScript, uh, piece, then we will invoke it from the library. We use the show side pane function, which we're also referencing in the code anyhow, but just remember this is the function. And of course, as, as soon as we publish, then the magic is done. But don't take my word for it. I think we should see it in real time. So let me take you um, through the Smart Hotel 365 app. That is the CRM app that our customer service representatives are using. And as you can see, there's all sorts of things that they can um, take advantage of. They can browse a list of the customers. This particular is a view of the high net worth customers, hence why there's so many popular names appearing here. All the different reservations that are available. Um, uh, within the system, the different property locations. Now, in this case, and uh, this is not an ad on any kind of specific project, I chose Marriott as an example. So this is realistic data from the whole Marriott property inventory. Uh, we have a list of the available rooms between the different properties that we are looking at as part of some um, promo that we're running and all sorts. Because at the same time, you can also host in the CRM app things about um, HR when it comes to, let's say, raising a vacation request or maybe service tax specific um, tickets that they may have to raise. For example, um, there's a special code that has expired for um, Wi-Fi for the user, and so they need to raise a new um, service now ticket, for example. So there's all sorts of cool things and integrations you can do. But I did promise you to show you how the side pane agent will work. So let's say we open up Mick Jagger's account. Remember, he's calling us up. He has all sorts of questions. And um, as you can see, as we launch our customer records, our agent is loading as well. And this is going to behave the same way. In this case, we have a manual authentication with the bot. Great. Let's get our code and start interacting with our agent. So there we go. So we are welcomed, you know, welcome to Marriott Hotels. And in this case, um, Mick Jagger is just very antsy about whether his reservation has been confirmed because he's paid a lot of money about this. So here we are interacting with our agent and it's guiding us through what kind of questions we want to ask, which is much better than going through a completely free flow experience. In this case, the topic gives us some option. I want to check the reservation details because yes, I can click through the latest reservation in the app, but guess what? Mick Jagger is a very loyal client, so he has multiple reservations. And instead of me perusing all the reservations inventory, I can't be bothered. I don't have the time really. So I'm just going to give a quick reservation number and the agent will do the rest of my work. So it will give me a summary of all the details I need to know about this booking. I can give it back to Mick Jagger. He has peace of mind that his assistant has done their job right. 
because his booking is actually not far from now and uh, he's paid almost 20k for this so he wants to make sure that all is sorted and Bob's your uncle so that is it um the final thing that I wanted to share with you is that I do have a post that um, has everything you need to know about setting this up step by step. So um, that's available. And if you have general questions about embedding agents within um, either your Power App, Dynamics apps, or even Power Pages, there's a separate blog post. So I'm going to give you all the codes for this as well. You can reach out to me on LinkedIn. The side pin agents um, blog post is here, and the embedding agents blog post is here. So feel free. Everything is step by step with screenshots so you can replicate it. And there's some samples you can download as well if you want to experiment within your own Visual Studio code environment. Otherwise, thank you so much for having me today. It's been an absolute pleasure. And uh, have a great rest of the day, everyone.